So in type of components, we are we see in functional class pure and higher order component. But what it is fragments? So fragments is is nothing but it's just a small block. We don't need to define any kind of div name. We don't need to define a name for. Uh, we don't need to de uh, define any name like a function component, class component. Then this is the fragment. Right. So the empty open close and this entire thing will be the fragment. If you want to fragment as a separate tag, then you can receive it from the React fragment. You can import that. You can put it here. Fragment. That's all. So within the fragment, you can use p tag. You can type anything. Okay, I forgot to add the close tag at the beginning. Yeah. So it's just a dummy tag, kind of a deep tag, but uh, the fragment kind of a component, but it will, it's just a small uh, small component. Uh, it's just a small block. It will, we don't, uh, in general, we don't need to add any div tags sometimes. So for example, in the return tag, within the return, I want to return 10 p tags like this. Okay, so but I, I can't able to send like this without a parent. Uh, the React is doesn't render anything. So for this all the p tag, we need to use one parent. So everything should uh, cover everything. Everything should be wrapped with one parent. So that's a uh, drawback from uh, the React side. So in the each and every component should be uh, should be wrapped with at least one parent. Then only it will work. But as a developer, I don't want any wrapping tags. If we add wraps, if we add any wrapping tags like div or hatch or anything, then it should be a problem in the design side. So if the developer like thinking like that, at that time, we can just remove the div and we can go with like this. So actually this is the fragment. Uh, if we save this and go back to the browser, we can see multiple tags and inspect that, you can see all, all things together. It doesn't have any parents. But in the previous manner, if you go with this, then obviously it will be a tree model, right? There is on div tag, the entire structure actually collapsed. So in, in this kind of scenario, we can use the fragments.